All right, back at the Eternity Warriors 2. Um, just a little bit of a strategy. Um, what I actually suggest is it doesn't really matter where you're at in the game, Hellfire, Spider Lair, you know, all that whatnot. But uh, I actually like the Shivering Refuge and I rotate between the two. Uh, that would be 5 and 10. Um, they are the same level, one's night, one's day. Um, obviously you're going to get higher rewards out of this one, but I noticed that when, you know, a lot of times I go back and forth, the chances of me getting a lot more, um, top end weapons out of level 10, I get more. Um, a lot of times I just play level 10 over and over and over and over and over again. Um, one of my other favorites would be the spider layer. Um, I actually like to start at one and go all the way through again because it's just really, really easy. Um, I notice like if you just keep doing 10 over and over and over and over again um, it, it seems like the weapons get weaker and weaker each time you play But uh, when you play it all the way through it seems like it, it progressively goes up So I mean it could just be you know the way I see it But I do not really play the undead spire um, Hellfire I have not completed yet um, I, I'm pretty sure I can get a couple levels completed right now, but I mean, I just haven't even been focusing on it. Uh, the Forgotten Tomb, I've actually been focusing on that. And this is actually quite challenging because the further you go, the further, you know, it does get... Whew, I mean, the difference between each one is, is really, really great. So, I mean, the weapons I have are pretty good, but it's still pretty challenging. Now, I like to do a lot of the multiplayer. Um, I actually don't really choose off of this screen. Uh, I noticed that like off of this screen, a lot of the players are really, really low ranking. Um, they they tend to not like somebody uh, with my level playing with them. Um, once in a while, I'll see somebody with a uh, you know a 50 or close to a 50 in there. You know, occasionally someone higher. But I either usually go to quick play or create. And when I create one, I usually go to a high level, anyways. And I usually get someone close to my level. But I still have not found anybody that is uh, above level 59. Or actually at my level. I've seen a couple of people that are, you know, floating around um, 51 to like maybe 56. I think I've seen the highest. Possibly a 57. But I have not seen anybody else at least at, you know, 59 or higher. Um, so if somebody's watching this video and you're at one of those high levels, you know, you know let me know. I mean, I, I like to hear about, you know, what kind of weapons you have and where you stand at because, um, almost everybody I play, uh, with, uh, online, I completely, like, kill over. I mean, they, they watch them, they'll, you know, they'll attack the characters and it just takes them too many hits and I just swoop in and just, you know, kill them. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, the higher levels, obviously, you're going to have higher weapons, so... Um, let me know what you got. Um, like I said, I have the Twin Slashers. I mean, those are my favorite. They, they seem to be my most powerful weapons. Got some pretty badass armor. I mean, I, I'm, I, I'm, I consider myself up there. I mean, that's what my character looks like. I mean, you see the Slashers. I mean, they do, they're, they're fast, they're quick, and they do a lot of damage. A lot of damage. But that's where we're at so far.